in patterns, it may require you to slip stitches. And there's two ways you can kind of do that, either with the working yarn in front or the working yarn in back. I'm going to show you the working yarn in back first. If they require you to slip a stitch, for example, our working yarn is coming off our first peg, and the pattern recalls for you to slip the next stitch with the working yarn in back, you're simply going to skip that peg and move on to the next one and go ahead and do whatever the pattern says, which means you would knit over or purl or whatever it requires. <clears throat> However, if it asks you to slip with the working yarn in front, then you need to take your working yarn and you need to remove the loop. Remove the loop off the peg, keeping it on your tool. Take your working yarn and play it behind the peg. I'm going to do that without it being an issue. There we go. Behind the peg and then simply place the loop back on. And then continue on with the project as normal. So the main difference between slipping stitches is whether or not they want, like I said, the working yarn in front or the working yarn in back. If the working yarn is in the back, it typically won't show up in your pattern. If they require the working yarn to be in front, like we just did, then that's going to require you to have it being in your pattern. You're going to see the line it creates across. So again, remember, working yarn is back, and <clears throat> excuse me, in back is simply skipping one or more pegs that they asked you to and moving on to the next one. That is working yarn and back. And again, doing whatever the pattern says for the stitch afterwards. But again, if you want to work, do the working yarn in front, that's the one where you need to, like I said, gently remove a loop off the peg and then play, oops, sorry, I did that the wrong way. Okay, gently take the peg off the, the loom off the peg or the loop of the peg, place your working yarn behind the peg, and then place it back on, and then continue on. So again, those are the two different ways that you can slip stitches, and a pattern may require you to slip one or more stitches, and again, it's a matter of where they want the working yarn to be. Have a great day, everyone.